Now we're going to look at certain receptacles uh, which are used for serving once the table is set. A pitcher, water pitcher. If you're in Germany, I suppose you could put beer. A plate for salad or cake for dessert at the end of the meal. A teapot. Another pot which can be used for tea or coffee as well. And this is not a plate, it is a platter. P-L-A-T-T-E-R for serving meat or big helpings of food. Cream, cream pitcher or creamer. This is for soup and is called a tureen, which comes from the French word terrine. Now, to end this course and for a little fun, let's look at just a very few terms um, for food. And there is a real difference between the animal alive on the hoof and the animal on the table. Why? Because the, in the Middle Ages, the peasants in England spoke northern root languages, Anglo-Saxon for instance. So for instance, you get sheep, which comes from the German schaf, that is the live animal walking around in the field. Uh, you get ox or cow, both from German root words as well, and so on. But the nobles in England at the time tended to speak French. So the sheep, once he's been cut and cooked, on the table becomes mutton from mouton. Um, the uh, calf on the table uh, also uh, has another word, uh, the cow or the calf. And in the Middle Ages, the English nobles talked about viands, de viande. Uh, the swine, okay, from German Schwein, is the pig before he's put on the table. And when you get him on the table, he becomes a, uh, you, can, you can talk about ham, uh, but also it is a kind of viand on the table. That word isn't used very much anymore, but it's interesting to see how the lower class people spoke northern root languages and therefore referred to the animals in those languages. And you get, for instance, a chicken on the hoof or the claws, and you talk about a pullet. So the French language influenced uh, the names for food and the nobles, of course, would not go out and deal with the sheep or the ox uh, and so on and so on. So that is just a little linguistic PS to warn you to be careful not to talk about a cow when the food is on the table. Thank you. And as some English-speaking people say, bon appétit. <laughs>